Hey friends, hi, welcome back to USMLE team. Today's topic is uh, etosuximide. Uh, this is very important drug um, for USMLE step one examination and for other medical board examinations like Australian Medical Council examination and uh, Canadian uh, Council examinations. Okay, uh, so before starting this, uh, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and tell your friends to subscribe. Uh, we need your subscriptions badly okay and uh, if you have any questions or if you find anything uh, anything you are unable to understand please tell us so that we can help you with okay do very well in your upcoming examinations okay so let me start with this ethosuximide is as you know the the only two points you have to remember about this one is it is used in the treatment of absence seizure that's very important that's a very important uh, it's a first line of drug which is a second line of drug that is nothing but a valproic acid so why it is used is in the um, uh, first choice of drug treating absence seizure in the part because it lacks idiosyncratic hepatotoxicity of the alternative anti absence drug like valproic acid so valproic acid is a second line of drug that is used in the treatment of a uh, valpro um, absence seizure uh, recently I uploaded a video on um, which of the following drugs used as the first line in the epilepsy which type of epilepsy is that's very important because you should know because in USMLE assembly examination they will give you a question and they will say okay you will diagnose it as an absence seizure and they will not give you the option of ethosuximide what do you what do you give that's very important valproic acid that's very important you should know the alternatives that's very important Okay, the important thing is uh, mechanism by which ethosuximide prevents absence seizure is by ethosuximide is a T type calcium channel blocker. Because of this, it is very helpful in the treating the patients with the absence seizure. T type calcium channel. Remember about the calcium channel um, is a T type. Okay, that's very important. Mechanism of action is very important. Okay, then adverse effects like a central nervous system, very common are drowsiness, mental confusion, insomnia. These are very important. And the other are headache, ataxia, rare paranoid psychosis, uh, increased libido, exacerbation of depression. Gastrointestinal like dyspepsia, vomiting, nausea, cramps, constipation, diarrhea, stomach pain, loss of appetite, uh, weight loss, gingival hyperplasia. That's what I want you to concentrate. Gingival hyperplasia can be seen in this patient with the uh, patient taking ethosuximide. So just imagine if they give the question of gingival hyperplasia and they don't mention the option as a phenytoin. So uh, try to search for ethosuximide. Okay, swelling of the tongue. Okay, let's move on to the next the genitourinary microscopic hematuria, vaginal bleed, hep uh, hematopoietic. The following can occur with or without bone marrow loss. Pancytopenia, agranulocytosis, leukopenia, eosinophilia, integumentary articaria, uh, SLE, Steven Johnson syndrome, hirsutism, uh, pruritic uh, erythematous rash, and ocularis myopia. Okay, uh, valproate uh, can either either decrease or increase the level of ethosuximide. So these are the important points regarding. Uh, uh, ethosuximide. The other important points what I forgot to mention is uh, um, decrease the efficacy of oral contraceptives uh, through the uh, induction of the enzyme that is a P450 cytochrome uh, 450. Remember about this point. Okay, so this is very important point you should know about. Okay, guys, uh, thank you so much for uh, watching my video on uh, ethosuximide. Thank you so much. Take care.